No distractions. Today is too important. Reshelving day. Understanding medieval equestria goes in Oni history. Modern spellcasting. That's classics. The art of the to-do list. Actually, I kind of want to read that again. <laughs> Spike, what are you laughing at? This little beauty is my birthday present to myself. It's a fire ruby. I've been aging it for months, and it's almost ripe. Just use the whole floor as one big shelf. My little pony, my little pony. books on historical fashion. Did you say delicious? Sure did. Next week's my birthday, and this is my birthday dinner. Start with this one. Thanks, Twilight. I've got a feeling Ruffle Top of the Capes are going to make a huge comeback this season, and I want to be ahead of the game. I hope it's as tasty as it is beautiful, Spike. I've never seen anything quite so stunning before. Gosh, you really like it, huh? Like it? It's magnificent! Huh. Then you should have it. This beautiful gem was meant to be with you. I don't know what to say. This is so thoughtful. Oh, my little spiky flaky! Thank you so much! Wow, Spike. That's one of the kindest, most generous things you've ever done. I've never seen Rarity so happy. I will never wash this cheek again. <sighs> Just about finished, Spike. Every pony will be here soon. There! Everything looks perfect. Not quite everything. A washcloth? I don't get it. Oh, no way, Twilight. I said I wasn't going to wash the cheek that Rarity kissed, and I meant it. It's over, Spike. I'm cleaning that cheek. <laughs> Birthday boy. Happy birthday, Spike. Don't you know you get presents on your birthday? Well, actually, this is my first birthday in Ponyville. I usually just get one present from Twilight. A book. Presents. This is 
from my new line of top of the cakes. I'm going to make one for each of you. Wow! wow. I've been inspired by the generosity of my little spiky wikey who gave me this beautiful fire ruby. One of the kindest acts I've ever experienced. Mm. Applejack, I can't thank you enough for this great blanket. I really needed a new one. Come on, Spike. You already thanked me 15 times. I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. I know I keep thanking you guys, but I'm just so grateful. I wish this party could last forever. Duh! The party can't last forever because you have to go to Sugar Cube Corner because the cake said they have a special surprise for you because it's your birthday! No way! I said the party could last forever, but it doesn't need to end right now! Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cake! There's the dragon of the hour. Happy birthday, Spike! Thanks. When we found out it was your birthday, we couldn't resist trying out a new recipe. Sapphire. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Man, first I get a bunch of great presents from my best friends, and now an amazing sapphire cupcake. Oh, what a day. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry, Cheerilee. That's okay. What's got you so excited? Pinkie Pie told me I should come see the cake so they could give me a treat because it's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Spike. I wish I had something to give you. Uh... Oh! Here you go. Wow, really? Sure. Every pony should get fun gifts on their birthday. Have a great birthday, Spike. I wish every day was my birthday. Pinkie Pie mentions my birthday to the cakes, and I get a cupcake. I mention it to Cheer Lee, and I get this great hat. Hmm, I wonder. Split? That's a pretty cool ball you got there. Did you know it's my birthday? <laughs> this is unbelievable! <laughs> hey, Junebug! It's my birthday! <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Spike! Well, aren't you gonna give me something? You know, like a birthday present? Um, I, I don't have anything. Well, how about those flowers? I'll take those. Spike! Uh, sorry, Junebug. I think Spike might have gotten a little carried away. Uh, no problem. Uh, happy birthday, Spike! What are you doing? You're out here demanding gifts now? Wow. You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. Thanks for snapping me out of it. I better go give Cheerily your hat back. No problem. See you at home later? Sounds good! Bye! <laughs> Who else has a present for Spikey Wikey? Wow, what a rough night's sleep, Spike. I had the weirdest dream. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe you. Where'd you get all this? <gasps> what happened? What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. 
Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then, the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. <laughs> Get away from her, you rogue! Spike, what? You're not getting my scooter! <laughs> Spike, what? Hey, Spike, check out this amazing broom. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Spy! Fight all you want. I'm not letting you out. I just reshelved this room. Uh, what now? Now, who in Ponyville would steal my apples? For that matter, who would steal my leaves? Applejack, help! Spike's running wild, and I need you to lasso him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Twilight. Sweet little Spike running wild. <laughs> what a laugh. Twilight, get my rope. Get us 
out of here right now. <gasps> what was that? Sounded like Fluttershy to me. Fluttershy? Fluttershy! I'm up here! What happened? I was helping my squirrel friends with a dance step, and all of a sudden, a giant rampaging dragon stormed through. That was Spike! Spike? But why would Spike steal my chicken coop? He just pulled it out of the ground and filled it with a bunch of apples and stuff. That sounded like Pinkie Pie. Come on, girls. Back! Get the back! understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... Right. 
Flash? tell you how absolutely proud I am of you. Proud of me? Yes. It was you who stopped, well, you, from destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff. But it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. Well, I learned that it truly is better to give than to receive. And that kindness and generosity are what lead to true friendship. And that's more valuable than anything in the world. Well, almost anything. Hearts and Hose Day, buddy. <laughs> so, what you growing? <gasps> Is it a friendship plant with heart-shaped leaves or flowers that open up and have tiny little boxes of chocolates in them? It's a Venus flytrap. It eats bugs. <laughs> That's not heartsy or hoovesy. Uh, I'm not that into Hearts and Hose Day. All the lovey-dovey decorations and hearts everywhere. Ooh. It's a really good joke, Zip. You are so funny, because obviously every pony loves Hearts and Hooves Day, right? You'll see! You'll see! See you later! Time to see how Maritime Bay celebrates the greatest holiday of the year! I can picture it now!
Uh, you okay there, Is? I tried so hard to bring a little Hearts and Hooves magic to Maritime Bay, but no pony even wants to celebrate. Come on, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. This is awful! <laughs> Look, Izzy, love, friendship, these aren't things you can magic up with cards and heart-shaped balloons. It takes time, you know, like a seed. You care for it and nurture it and eventually... Yes! See? It grows into something amazing! <laughs> huh? So you're saying friendships can grow? Like plants? Exactly. And love can blossom? Like a flower? Right! And we can all have two heads like Vita's flytrap? Yes! Wait, what? Huh! What do you know? Thanks, Zip. You're a real friend. Puff to heart for hearts and hooves. Puff to heart. Come on, we better get this thing in some soil before it eats one of us. <laughs> so, have you got your eye on any pony? Any secret crushes? It's Rocky, isn't it? Ooh, you're in love with Rocky. Ooh, Make such a cute couple, he can style your hair and give you hoofy cures, and you can go on dates and you'd be really cute, and we don't uh... love it. <laughs> hmm, I just don't feel like it's quite finished. I know what you mean. If it's for Miss Cheerilee, it needs to be perfect. Hearts and Hooves Day only comes once a year, after all. I say we add a little more ribbon. Mm hmm yeah. Yeah, and just a tiny bit more lace. A few more hoof prints. Glitter! It could definitely use just a little more glitter. Now that'll show Miss Cheerily how much we care about her. Just have to get it to the hearts and hooves party at school. I think we're going to need a bigger envelope. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? And so big. We just wanted to let you know that we think you're the best teacher in the whole wide world. And we think you're super. And that we love you so, so much. And we want you to have the best heart than her thing ever. ever. Thank you so much, girls. I love it. I really do. I'm sure it's nothing compared to the gifts you've gotten from your very special sun pony. Oh, I don't have a very special sun pony at the moment. Really? Some pony as amazing as you not have a very special some pony on Hearts and Hooves Day. It's all right, Sweetie Belle. I have lots of good friends and wonderful students who care about me very much. I'm going to have an absolutely terrific Hearts and Hooves Day. All right, every pony, who's ready to play pin the heart on the pony? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yes! yes. If any pony deserves a very special some pony, it's her. <gasps> Uh, you all right? I'm more than all right. I might just come up with the best idea ever. We're gonna find Miss Cheerily a very special sun pony. That is the best idea ever. I told you. So what are we waiting for? Hearts and Hoof Day is almost over. Let's get out there and find some pony special for Cheerily already. Yeah, let's do it. Now it can't be just any pony. Miss Cheerily is one of the best mares in Ponyville. She deserves to have one of the best stallions as her very special sun pony. Cheerily is sweet and kind. She's the best teacher we could hope for. The perfect stallion you and I must find. One to really make her heart so. 
one's too young, this one's too old. He clearly has a terrible cold. <laughs> His ass too silly, he's way too uptight. I say! Well, nothing's wrong with this one, he seems all right. His girlfriend sure thinks so. How about this one? He's much too flashy. He might do if he weren't so splashy. Too short. special some pony. Maybe he doesn't have to. Huh? If we can get Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee in a really romantic setting, I bet she'll ask him. Sounds like a plan to me. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get out there and create the perfect day. Yay! <laughs> Don't forget the flowers. Oops, I'm on it. They're coming. This is going to be perfect. Miss Cheerley is going to have the best hearts and hooves day ever. With her new very special sun pony. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Miss Cheerley. So you three said you needed help identifying a tree you found here near the gazebo? <laughs> That's an apple tree. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, big brother. We went and fixed up the gazebo all on our own. See? As long as you're here, why not have a bite to eat from this romantic-looking picnic? Oh, gosh, seems like there's only room for two. I guess we'll just be going, then. <laughs> You really think this will work? Of course it will work. They're perfect for each other. Beautiful day we're having. Yep. Any big plans for tonight? Nope. Oh, come on, Miss Cheerily. Ask him to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about Hearts and Hooves Day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? <laughs> Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... 
<laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Surf do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerily this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made Punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together to test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sum pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to be in, in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Special sun pony. Yeah. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, spooky, rooty, baby, wordy. Be back! Hey! Hello! What's going on? Miss Cheerilee, are you all right? I have a special sum pony. A kissy, wissy, snuggy, wuggy, sugar bear. I think we may have given them too big of an edge. You're my cuddly, waddly, poopsy, poopsy pumpkin pie. You think? What have we done? My brother's acting like a great A goofball. Maybe we added too much rainbow. Or maybe not enough cloud. Or maybe... Uh-oh. What do you mean? Uh-oh. We might not have given Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee a love potion. We may have given them a love poison. What? what? Apparently, some prince a long time ago whipped up this recipe and gave it to this princess he liked. He meant it to be a love potion, but things didn't turn out so well. How not so well did things turn out? Well, there's something here about a dragon, a kingdom falling, Chaos reigning. Okay, apparently it was all because the prince and princess were so lost in each other's eyes that they couldn't perform their royal duties. Great! We've not only turned Big Mac and Miss Cheerly into a couple of nonsense spouting nincompoops, we may have put all of Ponyville in jeopardy! <laughs> Come on, Apple Bloom. Miss Cheerly and Big Mac don't have any royal duties. But they still got responsibilities. If we don't fix this, oh no, me. 
Miss Cheerley won't be able to teach. Big Mac won't be able to harvest any apples. And before you know it... Ponyville will be overrun with uneducated little pony star for apples. Or it'll be chaos, it'll be chaos! There's an antidote. Well, why didn't you say so? Didn't you see me getting all panicked back there? If we can keep Miss Cheerley and Big Mac from looking into each other's eyes for one full hour, the love curse will be broken. Only an hour? <laughs> we can pull that off in a second. You take the first sip, Snuggle Wuggles. Nope, you take it, Snoodle Bump. No, you, Snooky Lumps. No, you, Pookie Pie. I'm all for romance, but this has been going on for hours. What's happened to these two? Well, these lovebirds will probably be planning a wedding soon. We can always use the catering business. A wedding! That's it! Miss Charlie and Big Mac should get married. How is getting hit gonna keep them apart? They aren't really gonna get married. They're just gonna get ready to get married. <laughs> no, you, Biscuit Biscuit Bear. No, you have a little snuggy bunny. Hi, Miss Charlie. How are you? I have a very special sun pony. I have a very special sun pony. Yeah, we noticed. Gosh, you two are so in love. The next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Married? That's right. Married. 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 <laughs> Of course, if you're gonna get married, you want to pick out a really nice diamond for your... Ugh! Schmoopy doopy a pookie pie? Diamond! Schmoopy! Don't you think you should start looking for your wedding dress? You'll want to look your best for your... Honey Bunny Snuggle Baby. <laughs> now we just need to keep them apart. I'll keep Miss Truly occupied. You two do the same with Big Mac. No problem. Meet you back at the clubhouse in an hour when this whole mess is over. This one looks nice. Better try it on, though. Ten minutes down. 50 minutes to go. No. No. Not that one either. No. Too shiny. No. You know, something less shiny. Miss Cheerley deserves the best. How much time is left? I'm running out of ways to make diamonds sound bad. We still have 25 minutes. Oh. Where's my brother? He made his purchase and departed out the back. Said something about needing to see his... Schmoopy schmoop. Ugh. Okay, I'll see what I can do to slow him down. You go on to Carousel Boutique and work sweet, baby.
Bubbles. Oh, one more minute and the spell will be broken. Shroopy Doo! <gasps> Wait up! sitting on a feather bed in a hole in the ground? Yep. Girls, can you explain why I look like I'm getting married at the bottom of a pit? We may have given you the teeny tiniest bit of love potion that may have turned out to actually be a love poison. And you may have gone just a teeny tiny spit nutty. But we only did it because we thought you and Big Mac would be really happy if you could be each other's very special sun ponies on Hearts and Hooves Day. Our hearts and hooves were in the right place. We appreciate that you care about us and want us to be happy, but... But no matter how good our intentions might have been, we should have never meddled in your relationship. No pony can force two ponies to be together. It's up to every pony to choose that very special sun pony for themselves. We're, we're sorry. sorry. And you can think about how sorry you are while you're doing all of Big Mac's chores at Sweet Apple Acres. Does that seem like a fair punishment to you? Yep. Uh -huh. Hey there, Miss Cherrily. What are you doing here? Since you three are doing all of his chores, Big Mac and I thought we'd have a picnic at the gazebo. Ready, sugar bear? Yep, pumpkin pie. <gasps> Morning, Pip Squeaks! Now, lots of you have been asking what a day in the life of Pip Petals is really like. Well, get ready! Your sneak peek starts now! <laughs> Brand new chance of brand new way. Oh. Some pony needs to refuel with a strawberry ripple smoothie. Oh, Sunny, you are the best! Mm. Did you say you're giving your fans total access to your whole day? That sounds exhausting. Well, it's what I have to do if I want to get 100 million followers. 100 million followers? How do you even come up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see those. Oh, look at Sparky. <laughs> Who's the cutest little dragon baby ever? If you had a ponygram, you'd have 100 million followers, wouldn't you? Oh, 100 yes, you million Everybody followers. Everybody want to follow you. <gasps> Wait, so now you listen to me? What do I know? I'm just an exhausted <laughs> dragon dad. Sparky, no! Just be careful, Pip. You know what happens when you do too much. You always get sick. <gasps> 
Zip! Don't you say it. Say what? Sick? <gasps> oh, no! Is that where Jinxie? We, we are healthy. healthy. We, we are, are fine. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Shine, shine, shine. shine. <gasps> Pip, it's time. Hey, Pipsqueaks. Ready for more? Here we go. <laughs> Flowers will add such a yummy sweetness to your next perfume, Pip. Ooh, it does smell delicious. <coughs> <gasps> oh no, you're not getting sick. No way, I never get sick. Oh, I can't be sick. I don't have <coughs> time to just lay in bed and <coughs> do nothing. And <coughs> Poor Pip. She sounds super rough. Shh, have you seen her lately? She looks even worse. Izzy! Is he... What? Honesty. Oh. Whoopsies. <laughs> uh, this always happens when she pushes herself too hard. Uh, I feel like this is all my fault. I should have never said anything about 100 million followers. Hey, Pipsqueaks. I know I promised the whole day of my life, but it's... Come on, Sparky. We have to do something to help her. Uh, no! No! Yuck! Nay! Way! Ew! 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 Aw, uh, Pip. I'm sorry I ever said anything about trying to get so many followers. <coughs> Honestly, Hitch, it's not so much about the followers. <laughs> it's just, well, I, I really hate letting my fans down, you know? They mean so much to me. I get it, Pip. But your fans love you. And sometimes we have to look after ourselves so that we can take care of the ponies. <laughs> or critters, dragons, and friends that need us. Here, have some soup. It'll help. Aw, Hitch. <coughs> that is so sweet. Being a dad is making you, like, totally wise. Mmm, delicious. invites you to the wedding of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and <gasps> my brother? Twily! Oh, I've missed you, kid. How dare you not tell me in person that you were getting married? A threat has been made against Canterlot. Princess Celestia asked that I help provide additional protection. But I'm still pretty ticked you're marrying some pony I don't even know. Princess Miyamore Cadenza is Cadence. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever! I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh huh. And I think I should wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? <sighs> She's evil. I saw her put a spell on my brother that made his eyes go all. Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me. She's been using her magic to heal me. If I were you. I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. I just lost a brother. I'm sorry. You will be. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Hello? Is anyone there? 
Where am I? The caves beneath Canterlot once home to greedy unicorns who wanted to claim the gems that could be found inside. And now, your prison. Help! Help! <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear you. And no one will ever think to look for you either. Most ponies have forgotten that these caves even exist, which is why they are the ideal place to keep the ones who try to interfere with my plans. <laughs> plans? What plans? The plans I have for your brother, of course. Don't you dare do anything to my brother, you... you monster! Only way to stop me is to catch me. <laughs> Over here! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and, and do a little, little shake. shake. You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? <laughs> we have to get out of here. We have to stop her. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and Shining Eyes. Oh, we're never going to save him. We will. We just have to find... There! You're not going anywhere. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you... Stop! Ugh. 
Why does she have to be so possessive of her brother? <laughs> Why does she have to ruin my special day? <laughs> because it's not your special day. It's mine. <gasps> what? But how did you escape my bridesmaids? I want it! <laughs> Clever, but you're still too late. I, I don't understand. How can there be two of them? She's a changeling. She takes the form of some pony you love and gains power by feeding off your love for them. <laughs> right, you are, princess. And as queen of the changelings, it is up to me to find food for my subjects. Equestria has more love than any place I've ever encountered. My fellow changelings will be able to devour so much of it that we will gain more power than we have ever dreamed of. They'll never get the chance. Shining Armor's protection spell will keep them from ever even reaching us. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Isn't that right, dear? Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Don't want to go back to the cave now, do you? Ever since I took your place, I've been feeding off Shining Armor's love for you. Every moment he grows weaker, and so does his spell. Even now, my minions are chipping away at it. <laughs> he may not be my husband, but he is under my total control now. And I'm sorry to say, unable to perform his duties as captain of the Royal Guard. Not my shining armor! Soon, my changeling army will break through. First, we take Canterlot, and then all of Equestria! No. You won't. You may have made it impossible for Shining Armor to perform his spell, but now that you have so foolishly revealed your true self, I can protect my subjects from you! <laughs> Shining Armor's love for you is even stronger than I thought. Consuming it has made me even more powerful than Celestia! The elements of harmony. You must get to them and use their power to defeat the Queen. Ready! <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide!
better. You were saying? You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Feed! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and foal. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick! Go to him while you still have the chance. now. I don't have the strength to repel them. My love will give you strength. <laughs> what a lovely but absolutely ridiculous sentiment. together.
you, though. I get why the Queen of the Changelings wanted to be with you, but how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be getting a pretty great sister, too. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of the real Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Princess Cadence is fine. Hmm. The union of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. The strength of their commitment is clear. The power of their love undeniable. May we have the rings, please? I now pronounce you Mayor and Colt. <laughs> This is your victory as much as theirs. You persisted in the face of doubt, and your actions led to your being able to bring the real Princess Cadence back to us. Learning to trust your instincts is a valuable lesson to learn. Mwah. Rainbow Dash, that's your cue. anything None of this would have been possible without you, little sis. Love you, Twilight. Love you too, BBBFF. Ready to go? Oh, almost forgot. a great wedding. Oh, yeah? Just wait until you see what I have planned for the bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> I think some ponies got a crush. Who? Me? <laughs> it's not like that. Sure, you know, Jazz. Let me tell you about the sweetest guy. Every time I see him, I get butterflies. He's got a certain charm, he's got a certain something. And when we are together, I don't worry about it, nothing. The way he trots into work, the way he swings his mane, the way his cutie mark sparkles makes me go insane. I gotta get closer, show the love that I'm bringing. I can barely contain it, yeah, my heart is singing. Alright, gorgeous ponies. See you next time. Bye, Rocky! Jazz likes Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thing is, I have these two tickets for the Main and Hooves Expo, and I really want to ask Rocky to go with me. <laughs> so romantic! 
America. But we've never really hung out outside of Maine Melody before. How do I ask him? What do I say? Just be direct. I'm sure he'd love to go with you. But be romantic. What about a dance? Just but be, be direct. romantic. Dance. I know. We just need to build up your confidence. We can totally help you practice. Ta-da! Meet your date for the evening. Howdy. I'm Senior Rocky. Now you can practice asking him to the expo. Okay. Just be direct. Smile. Hey, Rocky. I was just wondering if, um, uh, 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 uh. I just want to be who you want to find. Just play it cool. Act casual. Oh, hey. I was just wondering if you... Ah! Uh, obviously, you can't just ask him. <laughs> you have to give it some drama. I bet you're feeling super confident now, huh? Uh, I'm so impressed. Uh, there's no way I can do this. Great! All we need is a little bit more practice. I'm sure you're gonna get this perfect. From the top, ponies! <gasps> the egg has left the nest. <laughs> this is so fun! Oh, this is your big moment, Jazz! Just remember everything that we taught you and you'll be totally fine. Oh. oh, hey, Jazz! Loving those hooves. Is that a new polish? Oh, uh, this? Yeah, it's kind of new. Um, yeah! <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, that was, um, <laughs> really something. Music! What is happening? Oh, oh, I'm spreading the love like oh, oh, it's all That was my idea. Are you okay, Jazz? You don't seem like yourself. Uh, it's no use! <gasps> oh. Okay, the direct approach. Shout it, ain't no doubt about it. Love's in the air, let's shout it. What's this? Two tickets to the Main and Hooves Expo? Yeah, I was kind of wondering if you'd want to go with me. Oh, you'll never believe it. I got two tickets too. I was going to ask you to go with me. <gasps> really? I'd love to. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I can't take it. It's too cute. <laughs> 